Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave. I am here bringing you a map tour of a new ish mod map, Welker Farms. So we are going to start with a look at the map. You can see this is a very large field American style map. And while we're looking here, I'm going to read the mod hub description. Welker Farms is located in north central Montana and has been in the family since the homestead of 1912. There are 17 fields, two grain sale areas at CHS Grains and Flour Mill, a lumber yard for sale of logs and wood chips, sale area for hay, straw, wool, and cotton, use local water sources behind CHS Grains, several fenced areas for placeables, abandoned mine pit where you can sell stones, Treasure hunt, contracts on all fields, and precision farming support with Montana soil map. There are several required mods for this map and will automatically download when trying to open up this uh, particular map. Now I said at the beginning this is a newish map because this was originally released on consoles and for all platforms uh, a little while ago and then was very quickly removed from the mod hub and it was loaded back now one of the change logs because this does show as an update um, but the change log says bugs fix XMLS sounds at dealer and field 3 fixed fixed leg arms house H, uh, XML fix other small bugs so I believe the reason it was taken off of mod hub is because it was crashing uh, games and I think particularly on consoles um, and I think that bugs fix XMLS is uh, part of the reason why it's now back um, <clears throat> So what do we start out with when looking at the map? We start out with the farm here, which is valued at 100,236. Field 2, valued at 443,118. Field 3, valued at 361,872. And field 9, valued at 151,464. Now these are very large fields. Um, you can see the value for each of the uh, fields range. With some of the smaller ones, you can get for less than a hundred thousand, going up uh, quite quickly from there, all the way up to seven hundred thousand for what looks to be the largest field. Uh, pretty much every square inch of this map is buyable. You can buy the road network here for 170,772. You can also buy areas that have uh, like the shop here for $8,000, the other placeable and uh, landmark areas. Uh, pretty much everything can be purchased on this map. So where do we start? On the map we start here at the farm looking at uh, your home for the save points. If we go up to the home itself we can open the door oh, except uh, for some reason it turned on the lights. We can walk in your sleep trigger is here at the bed and if we close the door walk into the bathroom this is our wardrobe trigger right here it's a little bit of a tight squeeze to get in and out but that's okay I'll leave that door open and come out the front uh, we do not start with any animal pens uh, as said in the description there are contracts available I'll we'll go ahead and start touring the farm And see we got uh, this is based on a real map uh, in central uh, Montana as the description said uh, and a real set of farmers uh, I believe it's the Welker brothers who uh, who own and operate this farm 
they have a dog named Kobe, as you can see. If we fill up the water bowl, uh, food bowl here, uh, Kobe will come back for his food. Uh, we'll come back to that sign a little bit later. You can see there are tons of custom uh, sheds and placeables uh, on this map that holds all sorts of different equipment. Uh, they are all accessible. All these blue buildings around the farm are accessible um, with the exception of that uh, house right there and this greenish house up in the front but pretty much every door can be open so there's tons of storage on the farm uh, one thing the description said was there are scavenger hunts and you'll see that the beginning of the scavenger hunt is right here next to your home and the sign says find the lost safe scavenger hunt work out the clues to find the loot clue number one and we'll go ahead and read this aloud what can run but never walk, has a mouth but never talks, has a head but never weeps, has a bed but never sleeps. Walk along this area to find the clue. Number two. So, if you can figure out that particular clue, it'll take you to the next sign with clue number two. And you keep following that along until you find the collectible uh, technically uh, as you would see on other maps but this one is uh, just part of the treasure hunt so we'll continue our map tour and we'll walk around just from what I understand this is just a almost like a real-life replica of Welker Farms the, uh, these three homes that you see here the big house up front here uh, the little house uh, there and then the other little house I believe the two brothers stay here and I believe the parents live in the the main house up front if I understand it correctly I could be wrong so we start looking at some of these and just uh, the level of detail oh there was something else I didn't mention um, this uh, map is 273.5 megabytes to download and was created by Mappers Paradise and is available for all platforms. Uh, if we walk in here, just open this door, we can see this is some of our starting equipment here on New Farmer. Uh, unique uh, Don't Tread on Me flags, Montana, Farmers First. Uh, from what I understand, these are all like pretty much accurate to life. Uh, we can go upstairs uh, into this little crawl space. We got this little side space, but this garage is the workshop. You can see in front of the Big Bud tractor here, and this is one of the uh, downloads, the uh, required mods, is the trigger for the uh, workshop. So if we come outside here, hop over, I just like opening this door because it's one of the most unique doorways that I've seen. Uh, normally you'll see them roll up like this here not that kind of fold now that we've seen the big bud this probably be a good time to kind of review all the starting equipment that we have here on new farmer if we scroll down to own vehicles uh, again big maps big fields big equipment starting with large tractors the case steiger quad track 540 the case magnum 340 cvx drive and the big bud 450 Again, this is one of the required mods. I think the other Big Bud 747, I think, is the other required mod, as well as Cedar and Seed Cart. Uh, under trucks, we start with a Mack Superliner 6x4. We have a Case Axle Flow 9250 uh, Harvester. We have a Lizard Pickup 2017 and a Mahindra Retriever. We have a Wilson Pace Setter Trailer, a Demco 20, uh, 2200 Dual Auger Grain Cart, 
uh, one of the grain headers, the Case 3162 Terraflex Draper, 45 foot. A corn header, the Capello uh, Diment, 12. Uh, under the plows, we have a Farmet plow. Uh, com I'm going to butcher that. Compacto mat, compacto mat, 1570 max. Under disc arrows, we have the Case Speed Tiller, 465. Uh, under cedar, this is, I believe, the other uh, mod that is required. The again, something I'm going to butcher. The Hatzenbickler, Hatzenbickler. Terminator TH-18 and the Hudson Bickler TH-1400 uh, uh, so the uh, cedar and cedar cart and actually you can see here uh, down the very bottom uh, that it's, this is a mod I don't have any mods active besides the ones that are required for the map and these uh, are showing as mods so yes that is part of the mods that are required uh, we also have to start with the planter, the Kinsey 4905 Blue Drive. Sprayers, the Hardy Mega 1200L. And the Belt Convey All, Convey All 1690. And this is another mod that is built into the map. And I will show you what's special about this uh, when we get to it. Um, part of the reason why this map is so large on the downloads is just all the attention to detail. Like I said, there's over like 250 megs, but I mean there's rooms and toilets and all the doors open into uh, all these buildings. Like I said, tons and tons of space, very uh, kind of true to life uh, kind of kind of map. And you can see all these kind of pass-throughs, uh, open the doors. Uh, we can turn on lights, like all this is custom, uh, custom made. We have here on the farm, uh, I believe this is a, uh, actually, sorry, I had this written down, but it looks like I smudged my writing. Uh, fuel tower, that's what that is, yes. Oh, hey, right there, diesel. Let me come and open this door here. We find some more of our equipment. This is our uh, medium-sized case. It's still under large tractors. Here's our grain cart and our cedar, as well as our disc arrow in the back. And if we come out towards the back of the farm, you can see here's our big case steiger with our big plow and our uh, auger wagon. Massive, massive auger wagon. And back here you see, what, nine? Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine flat bottom grain carts and our auger uh, to enter or to fill our uh, flat bottom bins with. Now, this is modded, and if we enter it, you'll see this is why. This camera angle right here is the mod with the laser sight down it, so we can. Uh, back up, move forward, and you can see that laser sight kind of follows along. If you look at the top bin, you can actually see that laser pointing straight down as well. Uh, all the standard kind of uh, motions to the base game uh, auger as well. So, very, very nice uh, little addition they put in there. Now, you are missing the auger, I believe, to take out of the silos but not to put into them so at least you can put things in but you won't be able to get them back out until you buy the uh, other auger now from here we're gonna run back to our pickup truck and we're gonna start heading out oh there's Kobe We'll hop into our truck and we'll just pull out without running over the dog. Oh, hey, look down at my notes real quick and almost ran into the house. Let's see. So, we're gonna make a left out the farm. Again, we own this farm across the street, we own the farm behind the house. I'm sorry, the fields, not the farm, the fields. 
Come to this crossroads and make a right. And see off to our left, a whole bunch of silos and storage. This is another part of our farm that we own. It's a bunch of uh, liquid storage. Keep tapping the turn. There we go. You can see here we've got tons of these meridian uh, storage for liquids. Uh, we can store herbicide and uh, liquid fertilizer. I believe the maximum for each one of these is 13,700 and uh, sorry 137,706 for each one of these individual uh, ones and as you can see we can either have it delivered or uh, manually put them in ourselves now if we come over here I believe these uh, silos here Actually, that's a good point. I just noticed that there's a hash mark here. I'm not quite sure what these are. Let's go to seed silos. Okay, so we can put in seeds and take out seeds. Here's an additional silos here where kind of a traditional silo where we can put into them here, take out down there, and here's some more big flat bottom uh, silos where we need the conveyor belts to put, or the auger wagons put into them. If we come over here, hop out, open this shed up, you can see here's some more of our equipment. Here's our Mac uh, super liner and our case, as well as the headers uh, behind the case. Now we're going to mosey on through here head out the back and head up north for the most part of this is a very flat map not a whole bunch of rise or undulations on it uh, so it would be easy to kind of put down placeables and uh, Whatnot. And there's a bunch of placeable areas strewn about across the entirety of the map. But you can see there are just several places where um, they're just kind of set off to the, into the corners of the map. Um, and they're going to be like your cell points and placeable areas. If we come up here, we see the sign here, Montana Flower and Greens. Pull in. And across the bridge. Now this is our first production. This is the grain mill up in the northwest of the map, as well as a lime station. Now if I come to the map, I'll show you exactly where we started and where we went. We started here at the farm, here at the local house, and we just kind of swept around, did a tour, all the grain bins out back. We came out of the farm area here, we shot down this road, went to the north, and we came here to uh, this kind of secondary farm, this kind of uh, silo hold. Again, this uh, is another field we own. Then we came out... Uh, up towards the north, came through this little covered uh, bridge area, and we saw the grain mill as well as the lime station. Now from here, we're going to head back out. And over here you can see this is one of the placeable areas. Let me go back to the map just real fast. Um, to buy this area is 74,616 and you can use this to place down additional production chains or whatever the case may be. Oh, this looks like a, whoa, big, big ditch there. Holy smokes. That might be, uh, a glitch or a, you know, conversion from, uh, PC to consoles, but that's a, oh man, huge, huge ditches on this side of the road. 
You can see there's a gate here allowing you access to that water point, so free water right there, hopefully. You'll be able to bring your tankers and load up. We're gonna head back out to our secondary farm point. And you can just see, like, this is just a very, very flat map. So, to me, and this is not a knock on the map maker or anything like that, um, you know, because, like I said, this is a kind of true-to-life kind of farm area. Um, this would be, like, a very good introductory basic kind of map to where people can use the range of different uh, vehicles and whatnot starting off with small equipment or starting out with the farm equipment that you get and kind of building your way up. Now we're heading back up to the north. And this is JR Logging and Mill. If we head down this little two track, let's see we've got a little bit of forestry here we can do. Uh, kind of clear out this area leading back to the sawmill. You can see just a standard sawmill with some additional storage. I wonder, is this, this area open up? I didn't bother checking, but almost looks like it could. Nope, guess not. Doesn't hurt to check. Hop back in. Here we're going to head to the southwest to take on some, uh, check out some additional uh, points of interest. Make a left. We're just going to set the cruise control and drive. Again, pass our secondary farm. Over to our left there is the main farm. We're going to make it right here. directly south like I said you can kind of see how all the main points of interest are all kind of bunched up together um, so you're gonna be going you know only to a few points of uh, like on the map itself but if we turn in here Straight ahead of us is a cell point called the Wool Market. Over here is De Root. This is a cell point for our root crops. And to access it, you just open the door here. And you can dump in here. This is your uh, potato and sugar beet uh, cell point. So you can open these doors here. Now one thing I noticed when you open this door here... You can see the potato mound, but you see that little blue disc back here? There's a disc here, but I've yet to figure out what, if anything, it's for. No idea. And then if we come out back here, this, if we stand over top of it and open the grate, is a uh, lime storage for us, where we can put lime in, take it out. 
I'm kind of wondering if maybe this was meant to that little wrench there is a place where you could potentially buy lime uh, for this but uh, I have yet to be able to access that point then we have to kind of leave this little area here and come off to the side to get it our last point of interest over in this section of the map you see this little driveway here if we head down now be careful with this gate because this gate just flies open so if you park too close or whatnot you're gonna and you're on the other side of the gate you're gonna smack whatever equipment but if we come in the back here come around the side this is our animal dealer so if you install any pens or whatnot and you're inside this hash mark you can purchase your animals and transport them to your uh, pens that you purchase and put down And now, let's go ahead and, oh. We'll head out and head to the other side of the map on the southeast side. Now here, before we get going too far, we'll open up our map. Now where were we? We were up in the northwest here where we took in the grain mill and the lime buying point. We came out up this little track here where there was a bunch of dips and swoops down here, down around, back by the secondary uh, farm, up to the north, down this drive, and took in the sawmill. Then we came back out the drive, down south, hit this main crossroad, out, down. We took in all these kind of uh, cell points and points of interest inside the yard and then came out down this driveway and to the animal dealer. We head back out and we're catching up with ourselves right here on this path. Now, we head back towards the east, and we're going to head north, See on the sign here, we buy hay and straw, Shelby. Beyond this house, we have our milk cell point right there, as well as our bale cell point right in front of us, uh, called the Milk Market and the Shelby Bales. Now we'll head back out. And directly south. If I'm not mistaken, this is the only road where it has like a traffic spline on it. And one thing that I noticed when uh, looking over the map, just quick point of interest. Uh, if you go to your buying screen, we're here, we're directly beside field 16. But if you can see... Field 16 to purchase, you have to purchase two separate uh, chunks of property in order to take advantage of the whole field. So it's just something that kind of caught my eye and caught me off guard because if you buy half of it, you're only going to be able to have access to half. Um, and then what happens? Do you get a contract for Field 16? You can only do half the contract kind of thing? I don't know. Gonna head off to our left here. And this is the animal, uh, not the animal shop. This is the equipment shop. Big Sky Equipment. We open up. Here's your trigger to open the shop menu. 
you can come through the doorway here into the back and you can see here's our uh, repair point sales trigger open the doors just like just like all the other places just all the custom buildings and the ability to go into various different areas and portions of the map it's just a real cool little setup now when you purchase equipment the, per the equipment that you purchase will spawn here in this kind of area here but if you reset equipment you know you get a tractor stock some equipment whatever it actually goes all the way back to the field so I'll show you or it goes all the way back to the farm and I'll show you where on the map so where were we we were down here in the southwest we came north jetted all the way across the map head back up and we took in these two uh, sell points for the milk market and the Shelby bales we came back out and down straight down took into the uh, took interest of field 16 because of half of it can be spot and we're now here down at the Big Sky dealership and the repair trigger now on the map your equipment actually respawns uh, resets in this little field here amongst all your bushes and stuff so if you've got something very small that you're trying to uh, reset you're going to have a really really hard time finding it um, and here if I just go ahead and purchase something just real fast just a little trailer and then back out reset come back here you see it's right here in the middle of this field and if we hop to the farm here's the Mahindra and look out back you'll see this is where it goes all the way in these bushes so if you got something small that you need to reset for whatever reason it's gonna hide it's just, it's just going to be here in the field and it's going to hide on you. So just be on the lookout. It is there somewhere. Let's see. So now we're, we are going to hop back in the truck. Up to our next point of interest down this little side street here. Here to our left, we have our gas station, and here is the Shelby Market, which is a sell point. We've got several placeables over in this side of the map. Come back out. We'll go to this area straight in front of us and this is the CHS grains so we come in here this is gonna be a sell point so that's the do not enter side so you got to come all the way into the back come around and here's your sales point right here Drop it off there. Um, that's interesting. Please let me out. Well. I wonder... If we approach from the other side, if it lets you through? I distinctly saw the do not enter sign. See, right there. Do not enter. Stop. Okay, so that's something that's going to have to be fixed. Unless there's like a trigger or something that I'm just... Oh, it's trying to grab the... Open door. Oh! Uh... I was not expecting somebody to be book in. Oh, okay. Oh, that
that's that's a surprise to me right there so you actually have to and look you can see the trigger actually popped up there so in order to drop off you have to sign in kind of book in as they said and then once you book in you can then drop off and I wonder if this stays open for a certain amount of time before you actually uh, You know, before it closes, it ha I'm sure it has to close all by itself. Now I don't have any options to do anything. But it's almost like you're coming into the office here to, you know, to sell your grains and stuff like that. And you've got to sign in first before you can sell. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. That's a cool little touch. All right, now we're heading out to check out our last point of interest. Again, straight ahead is another uh, placeable area. This one I will get out of the truck for just to show. So really large area, but you can see here, open gates, and you can let your vehicles and whatnot in. Drive on over, no big deal. And check out that in the back. It almost looks like a grain area where you can uh, put in your bulk crops. Yeah, kind of this divided area in the back. So that's kind of cool. And jet back out. And over here is to our left is Shelby Forest. So a bit of uh, forestry that can be done here with some of these trees. Come out back. And down here is our last point of interest. If we take a turn to our right, now make sure you're less than four meters tall. Come down this hill. Now you're really not going to get a whole lot of. Oh, that's something I just noticed. It looks like a water table that's not rendered properly. So there's, there's definitely going to have to be some updates to this map uh, at a later date, but I'm sure they were more concerned about fixing the issues that were breaking the game rather than anything along those lines. So don't, ooh, come on, there we go, traction. Now we see here, here's our rock crusher, debris crusher, and ignore that sign on the right side there that I just drove past. You're not supposed to see that. Oof. And that's the map. That's Welker Farms. Uh, very, very nice map. They did a very good job. Um, from what I understand, this is, again, a very kind of true-to-life kind of map taken from real-life, uh, you know, real-life places and... Uh, you know, farms, locations, all that stuff. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of a, a bit of an immersion into uh, the game from Big Sky Equipment, which I guess is the, the actual name of the, uh, of the dealer itself. Oops, not paying attention to the traffic. But that'll be it for uh, this map tour today. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Do all the things uh, that the algorithms like. Follow, uh, you know, just anything. Smash the like button. You know, do do everything. Just just go go ahead. Do it. Do it now. Do it. All right. Thanks again, everybody. This is Big Daddy Dave. I'll catch you next time. Bye.